Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, and welcome back to another Black Ops 2 Zombies video. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the achievements that have been updated on PlayStation 3 for Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure that they're hidden on Xbox for now, but they will be there when the map pack comes out. And with these achievements, we can judge a little bit about what's going to be in the map. So let's get straight into this. And also, if you guys enjoy this, then be sure to smash that like button. I know you guys love to hear about the achievements that are in the maps and uh, the video views that i got on my last video so like mob of the dead achievements and diaries achievements were incredible so keep up your support let's get to it so the first one is mind games in buried be their pawn now obviously always when you hear the word pawn you probably think of like chess pieces where we're going to be played like chess i'm pretty sure this will be involved in the easter egg in some form there's quite a few achievements that link to the easter egg but i can't really confirm which one will be the main final one but mind games in buried be their pawn keep that in mind the second one is ectoplasmic residue in buried acquire a perk for free now ectoplasmic residue we've seen in the trailers that there's a ghost and we've seen rossman shoot this ghost and it lets out what looks like some residue of ectoplasm so putting pieces and pieces and putting a puzzle together you can pretty much work out that in some way by killing this ghost we can get ourselves a free perk now i'm not sure if it will be during like a specific ghost boss only wave or if it's going to be included in a wave or if we have to defend some perk machines from her taking them or something like that we'll just have to see but it's cool that we can get perks for free again i love that in die rise and yeah let's get to the next one i'm your huckleberry in buried access all areas with the help of your new friend in one game so you know from the trailers we've got this new ai helper friend who's this huge giant pretty dopey and uh he can open up new areas for you and uh, we'll move on to how you can do that in a second. So the next one is Death From Below. In Buried, drop the beat on Zombies 10 times. Now, when I first heard drop the beat, I was like, playing some music, yeah. But if you're saying Death From Below, I'm not sure if maybe you start out, like, on top of where you're actually going to be under. Like, you start on, on, like, normal ground and then you go down into the mines. So I'm not sure if that's it, if it's just a new trap for um, dropping the beat on zombies, but you know, we'll find out. Candy Graham, in Buried, make candy delivery. So this links back to I'm Your Huckleberry. We've seen from the trailers that you feed candy to this new giant and he will fight zombies and open up new areas for you. We've seen a candy shop and we know that you need to feed candy to this guy. So it's not going to be too difficult for us to do. I'm pretty sure you could maybe do this on your first try of finding the actual candy shop. This next one is Awakened Gazebo. In Buried, pack a punch a weapon in round one with no one using the bank or weapon locker. Now, this achievement is awesome because it confirms that we're getting the bank and weapon locker back that is in transit and was currently added to Die Rise. And if you want to see the location of it on Die Rise, there'll be a link in the description and annotation at the end of this video. So, pack a punch a weapon in round one with no one using the bank or weapon locker. Bit of a cheat if you were to use that, but that's really awesome that we're going to have the bank, which could potentially be linked to transit and Die Rise. So, any map containing these characters, we get the bank and the weapon locker, which is incredible. That's really cool. Next achievement is Revisionist Historian. In Buried, Rewrite History. Now, that's pretty obvious that this is going to be involved with the Easter egg because you're rewriting history. I'm not too sure what this achievement entails. You know, a lot of people are saying that our current cast of characters will die in this map, and I'm not going to say if they will or will not. It's a bit of a very big jump if they were to do that, but rewriting history means there's going to be something that's going to be changed something's huge and you know we've got Richtoff and the Maxis fighting each other out in this map as we have the cast of characters that we have had since Black Ops 2's come out maybe it's going to be a big thing involving those two characters but anyway next one is mazed and confused in buried survive an entire round within the maze on round 20 or higher so with this huge ghost house that's like we've seen in the, the replacer trailer where the ghost comes out I know for certain that within that house is a huge maze and, uh, you know, if it's going to, you can particularly picture mazes being really tight uh, areas with lots of corners. You can get lost in there. I think it's going to be frantic in there with round 20 high of zombies trying to kill you. So it's going to be pretty difficult. And the last one, the second to last one, more like, is FSIRT against the wall. In buried, so purchase the LSAT off the wall and pack a punch it. Now, we've never had an LMG on the wall before, so this is incredible. You can actually purchase the LSAT 
off the wall. Normally you've only been able to get that in a few zombie maps, not all of them, and only from the box. So I'm thinking either this it's just going to literally be on the wall somewhere, or you might have to do a little, kind of little quest to unlock it. But anyway, that is cool that we can get the LSAT. Lots of ammo, going to be getting points for days off that. And the last one is when the revolution comes. In Buried, return to processing. No, I'm not sure what that means. I mean, since we're work we're going to be in an underground mine, they usually process like ores and stuff. I'm not sure if that's going to have anything to do with it, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be an Easter egg achievement as well. So looking at it, we're going to have potentially three achievements involved in this entire Easter egg, which is incredible. And it might be similar to Moon, where, you know, you have cryogenic slumber party and then you have the Big Bang, which is like two little quests put together where... When you do one, it starts off the second one. But I'm really excited for Buried. We're a few days away from it now. So if you want to stay updated with anything on Buried, we're going to have gameplay up the second the map pack is out so you guys can see what the map looks like. I'll be bringing you lots of useful guides. And of course, I'll be trying my best to crack the Easter egg as quickly as possible. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like rating. Put in the comment section below what you think of these achievements. I like to see your discussions because you guys come up with some really great ideas. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Check out the videos in the description and annotations and i'll see you guys very soon take care and peace